The origin of the Ancient Press has a long history and quite a story that begins in France. As a young Jesuit not yet ordained, I was in Fourvière, and there I got to know Father Henri de Dubac, one of the truly great theologians of the 20th century, and he was my mentor. I asked him at a certain point where I should do my doctoral studies and what I should do them on. He said, I propose you do your studies on Father Hans Rose von Balthasar, the greatest theologian of our time and perhaps all time. He said, well, go to Regensburg, there's a young theologian, Father Joseph Ratzinger, because de Lubach was a friend of Ratzinger's and a mentor too, wrote him on my behalf. And so I did my doctoral studies in Germany on Balthasar under the direction of Father Ratzinger, who became, of course, as we know, Cardinal Ratzinger and then Pope Benedict XVI. Father Joseph Fascio founded Ignatius Press along with Carolyn Lemon in the late 70s with the idea of bringing to the American reading Catholic audience Hans Urs von Balthasar, Louis Bouillet, Joseph Ratzinger, Henri de Lubac. These were seminal figures that he wanted to make sure the American reading public had access to. We have now published everything under the Catholic sun. So what does that mean? That means a beautiful line of children's books that we co-published with Magnificat of France. And then plus we have books on apologetics, books on prayer, the Ignatius Bible, a religious education series, Faith and Life, and now the Word of Life. Novels, we even published mini novels, great books of literature. And here we are now, 45 years later since Father started Ignatius Press, and certainly one of the largest Catholic publishers in the English-speaking world. Ignatius Press is a huge operation. We get warehouses, we work on films, we do distribution. We have a group of people who love books and love the church. And we get hundreds of manuscripts every year. And so we review them together. And what we decide upon is, will this help the church? And do we like it? Well, here at Ignatius Press, we're a family. And communal prayer is one of the highlights of working here. I mean, where else can you go to have daily mass? And we always get together to pray the Angelus. Definitely, the prayer life of Ignatius Press is very important, especially to its success. We've been here now almost 30 years. It's the relationships with people that are so meaningful that make the work really worthwhile. To supporters of Ignatius Press, thank you for what you do. Please know that we appreciate it and we see it as part of our mission to be faithful to the vision that you had in supporting Ignatius Press. In Ponte, Eucharist Estate, in all things, give thanks. So I think that's the charism I've had is to be grateful because of all the people that work here, the people that buy our books, and people support us. So thanks be to God and thanks to you.